Hi everybody and welcome to this qualifying round guide video for the expert division in Ancient Tombs 9 Hole Cup tournament wins here. Before we look at the replays please hit thumbs up it does help me out massively and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Now I always recommend taking a practice swing if you can but even more so with these increased winds because wind angle and wind strength um, variance will have a huge impact on some of these shots particularly the aggressive routes. So if you are able to take a token or two, get a feel for the different wind angles that you might get during live play. That will help you out massively. Plenty of drops already and some suggestions of tweaks and alternatives as we go along. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're getting on. And remember, 70% of players go through in the qualifying round. So a brilliant chance to get through to the final round in expert division. Good luck. Here we go. First hole going to go very, very aggressive here with Berserker. Power 5, max position, and we're going to go with 5.8 top spin, 1 bar side spin to the right. Red ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6. Adjustment max plus 0. As I said in the introduction video, very important to take a few practice attempts. This is a narrow line, very aggressive. We want to end up in wedge range, but it will be heavily affected by wind angle and wind strength. So max plus zero, push up to max after adjusting. So APOC four is gonna struggle here, unfortunately. Full overpower, shaky needle shot, half a ball of curl to the left. Obviously it is crucial to hit perfect here to get the outcome that we want. Like I said, very narrow line, bouncing on the fairway. Top spin is gonna take us into that little bit of rough and rolling out around the edges of those shadows. Around 450 to 460, 465 yards, absolutely fine. End bring a school shot to finish here. This one is, I reckon, around mid distance. Can't quite remember the exact percentage, but as always, it depends on your outcome with the drive. So always measure the distance of the wedge yourself and make an accurate um, estimation of the slider as far as you can. But instead of playing 20% with the no spin, we're going to go with 10% uh, power five settings because this one is slightly uphill. So it's Embringer School, no spin method, 10% elevation. More information on this method on the Academy tutorial uh, on that subject matter. Quick fire Embringer method, that's on the home page. Go and check it out. But a good chance for the eagle. Obviously, if you don't fancy aggressive, then you're going to have to lay up and approach uh, probably with the long iron but there is a good option to work with, with a berserker going aggressive on hole number one. Quite a few steps to complete here, but it is a very good chance going with the rough bump. First of all, look at the wind with a kingmaker. So 12.3, put that into your wind app. Then we're gonna to switch to a katana and find position. Minimum distance line with the quarterback and a power two ball, yellow ring touching the rough on the right. Then we add spin, that's the next bit, and it's one and a half back spin one bar side spin to the uh, left and you'll see there the ball guide is over the right half of the cup then we're going to adjust but we're going to adjust for the kingmaker wind value so 12.3 minimum distance minus five power three settings so make sure you've got the wind app preset so you can plug the kingmaker wind value in straight away once you've adjusted and only after you've adjusted you then switch back to your kingmaker Important to get the steps right, otherwise you will uh, be aiming in the wrong place. Perfect ball away here and subject, of course, to wind angle tweaks. We hit the rough very nicely uh, on this rough bump shot and we drop it right at pin for a hole in one on hole number two. Aggressive route here. We want to go with a berserker or a power five wind zero. Depending on the wind strength, try and get to the green in one or at least very close. Um, I would recommend if you have wind below 16.8, to go to a wind zero ball, maybe 16.5. You'd have to take a token or two, um, but we want here 6.3 top spin, two right spin, stretch out and aim at the first of the bushes there up ahead. Uh, this is kind of two thirds of the way into the wind one range, just for reference. The highest you can get with a berserker in this modify 17.9. Max plus five is the adjustment. We're looking at APOC six and above. Lower level APOC, kind of APOC 5, you'd need to use a top spin boost ball. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to push back up to max distance. The extra mile 9 is, of course, an option for those without APOC 6. 
and we're going with plenty of curl to the right look at the T uh, going down to the inner tip of the triangle around uh, two balls of curl if you want to put a figure on it but have a look at the T uh, in relation to the triangle hit perfect and we want the ball to roll out of the rough down the nice slope and towards the fringe. If you've got a bit more top spin, you could try and put that on. 540 yards, though, we're going to be left with a nice end bringer shot here again. Always check the distance yourself. This one, I believe, I played this around 40, 42% slider, something like that. Going with the usual no spin method, but again, check that distance yourself. Um, like I said on the drive, you may want to go to a win zero ball. But as I said again in the introduction, wind strength, wind angle are going to have a huge impact on these higher wind strengths in this modifier. So it is advisable to take a token or two first, get a feel for some of the different angles that you might get. And if you don't fancy it, of course, uh, there's always a layup and a very good opportunity playing the standard rough bump funnel shot here on this par five. Albatross is going to be what you want, though, here on hole number three. Goliath rough bump coming up here on hole four for the hole in one. We're going to go with um, 7.3 top spin and it is as much left spin possible. It's going to be around 2.9 bars of left spin, but the priority is the top spin. Um, and we want the ball guide there, the right edge of the ball guide touching the left edge of the cup. Um, with Goliath nine, yellow ring touching the rough on top, there, it's going to be at plus two. Uh, I would switch to a wind 4 if you get higher wind here uh, than around 12.6, 12.7. I would then switch to wind 4. Otherwise, you might go into overpower. And that may be a thing if you have slightly more headwind angle. So if you've got a power 4, wind 3 uh, or power 4, wind 4, that would help as well. Max plus 15, power 2 settings. Bats is in the rough very nicely there. And we're dropping it right at the pin for a hole in one. So a tricky shot, have a few balls ready to switch in case of nasty wind angle or higher wind strength on the fourth hole. Excellent chance for an eagle on hole five uh, here with this par four. Going to set up at the top of plus 10 with APOC five and above. Uh, that will be at P3 max with APOC four. 5.8 top spin, aim just a right of center and then I add one bar of side spin to the right. Ball guide will be then aiming at the rough. So just rewatch that bit to get the aim point right. You want to offset it with that bar of side spin to counteract the crosswind push that we'll get. Max plus 10 is the adjustment on this one. So maximum distance, 10% elevation. And we're going to use rings from min for the second shot. That's RFM on the notepad. We've got a tutorial on that one. If it's not something you're familiar with, a brilliant way to accurately estimate your club distance. Just taking us into overpower with APOC 5, so I'm going to add that on. APOC 4 will go into um, a couple of rings more overpower than that. So again, if that's a concern, uh, you might want to go for a power 4 ball. Problem is, you will need to adapt the second shot because your min line uh, will be in a slightly different place. But anyway, here in the video, 379 yards finding the centre of the fairway. Second shot, change to power 2 settings in your app. Find the minimum distance line, and then I'm going to push up four rings at a time. So there's four, and there is another four. No spin shot, so don't need to worry about that. And we're just moving our aim there to get the ball guide uh, to the front of the cup. Pushed up eight rings from min, so I'm going to play 8% slider, 20% elevation. It is 1% slider for every ring from min. Power two settings, and this one is adjusted over the bullseye. So pull over the bullseye, rings from min, plus 20, no spin at all. And you will see here we hit perfect, very, very good chance for a drop. This is slightly higher than average wind speed with this modifier with the Kingmaker, but we fall right at the pin there for a lovely eagle on hole five. Now onto this par five, tricky one here, but not too unpleasant with the wind angle. We're going to play no movement target uh, with APOC and Kingmaker, and we're going 5.8 top spin. No side spin, and it's obviously no move, so that's where your ball guide will be, pointing down the middle of the fairway. Strange adjustment here, but it is working very well. 
and I go maximum distance minus 5% elevation. So max minus 5 on this one, and that's in order to simplify the setup so we can have a nice no-move target rather than trying to find a reference when we're aiming in the middle of the fairway. So max minus 5, 5.8 uh, topspin only. Uh, APOC 4 obviously will have to push up 6 yards after adjustment. Perfect ball away and we're bouncing down the fairway very nicely, uh, tracking along the middle of the fairway. Great left is going to put you further away from the hole, but um, we're there nicely in the perfect ball with 392 yards. Second shot going with the Cataclysm or the Big Dog, whichever you've got in a decent level, but you want distance. Four and a half top spin, one bar side spin to the right. Try and find a small sticky spot there. I am at max with a power three ball. If you're worried about hitting uh, a great left, I might be tempted to suggest a power four ball just so you don't have to do any pushing up after adjusting here because there's already quite a bit to do. But we want to try and get the ball guide aiming at the pin. Very difficult with an underdeveloped ball guide. Max plus 15 is the adjustment. Because we adjust to a higher point, it is crucial to pull back in line with the ball. Uh, here you've got to be pulling back uh, just around two and a half rings. Two and a half rings. And um, unfortunately there, I didn't pull back in a straight line at all with the ball I was very very much misaligned but we still catch the rough very nicely and we get in the top spin down there you could add a little bit more top spin if you like but the plan is just to make a safe rough bump and get on for the eagle here on hole number six tough hole here hole number seven very tough wind angle as well this is going to be a safe birdie tweaker below if you want to pursue the hole in one but there are other methods as well uh, one backspin, half a bar of left spin. Then we're going with the yellow ring touching the rough before the rough and the sand. Try and find that sticky spot there where you can move left and right and the ball guide won't really move much. But you want the tip of the ball guide to be touching the back fringe. Simple adjustment here, one on one. So 12.3 in wind, we're going to go 12.3 rings. Very nasty wind angle, like I said here. There are other methods to use. There's rough bumps you could try from the other side as well. You can tweak the spins a little bit if you like here as well. The problem with this nasty headwind angle, you're going to have to do a lot of tweaking to try and dial them all in um, because the wind effect is going to be quite severe. But it's a safe birdie. Like I said, if you want to tweak the spins or the setup slightly, then feel free to do so. One-on-one, -on -one, simple adjustment, bounces nicely on the fairway and the spin kicks in. We're getting just missing uh, on the left here, only half a cup, so we could tweak it slightly, could add a bit of um, right curl, a few clicks perhaps, but something to work with there on a very difficult wind angle on hole seven. Hole number eight, another good opportunity with the thorn if we have a successful drive. Um, Max uh, rest with the power three ball, red ring touching the rough there on the left with APOC five and above. Uh, 5.8 top spin, one bar side spin to the right, and then we're going to adjust this one max plus 10. So red ring touching the uh, sand rather there is going to be with APOC 5 and 6. Watch out for the rings. They do glitch going out of that bunker. So I adjust 8 rings and then the remaining rings. Uh, with the APOC 4 you will need to push up 6 yards after your adjustment. No push up needed with APOC 5 plus. Perfect ball away. Drive distance. Here, uh, we're going to bounce firstly very nicely on that first piece of fairway, comfortably away from the sand, and it rolls down the middle of the next one here as well. Heavy great left will risk the bunker as well. 383 yards, so second shot, we're going to do fringe check, that is FC on the notepad. So when it's your turn, push the target up to the second fringe line where it meets the green uh, plus 2 there is going to be 82% slider, 15% elevation. We're going to leave the ball guide um, about one cup short of the pin because we have a little bit of tailwind angle. And again, like hole number 5, it's a no-spin shot. So nice and simple, eh? you don't need to worry about setting spin. Just find your position after you've done your fringe check. Plus 2 is 82%. Plus 3 would be 84%, plus 1 would be 80%. It's 2% per yard. And we're going to pull this one, of course, over the bullseye, which will be happening 
anyway with these high winds. Perfect ball away with the thorn. Bounces onto the uh, fairway and then onto the green. And we're just dropping this one very nicely for an eagle on this last par four. And finally onto hole number nine. Nasty little wind angle here, so we're not going to be sending it. Very safe eagle. Maybe an outside chance for an albatross. Before spin, quarterback at power three max. Ball guide pointing at the top left corner of the fairway. Then we switch to APOC and Cataclysm bag. Add spin. And we're going 5.8 top spin only. And then we're going to adjust maximum distance, 10% elevation. So max plus 10. And with uh, APOC 4, you don't need to do any pushing up here because we're doing a club switch. But you will re realise with APOC 4, you'll have a slightly uh, shakier needle. We're OK with APOC 5 and above, though. Still a good chance to hit perfect. Although, to be honest, a minor great left and great right still going to be fine here because we've got plenty of fairway to aim at. So it's full overpower shot, slower needle, no curl. And we're going to be around the 360 to 365 yard mark. With the Cataclysm level 6, obviously, if you've got different clubs, club level, your rings are going to vary. But my reference here is the blue ring touching the rough. Then I'm going four backspin, three bars side spin to the right, setting up at max distance with a power three ball, and the adjustment is max plus five. So max plus five here, and then the final part of the equation, we're going to go with one ball of curl to the right just before the circle drops, because I don't use grid lines. Perfect ball away. You can tweak this one a little bit if you want, but it's going to be tough to dial in the albatross. But the speed is very good here. Maybe a click or two more curl, we'd have dropped that, just burning the left edge. But either way, you've got your safe eagle on hole nine. Thank you very much for watching this Ancient Tombs Nine Hole Cup video here on the channel, finally. A reminder to you all, join us over on Facebook, totally free to do so. We've got nearly 11,000 members, I believe, all posting shots, discussion points, uh, free guides there as well, and you can ask questions, interact with me and some of the great uh, members of the community over on our Facebook group, all designed to help you improve your game play. Thank you for watching and good luck in the Ancient Tombs 9 Hole Cup. See you soon. Bye for now.